Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Weir's videos and today we're looking at how to create histograms. How to create histograms. So it's going to be a pretty simple, easy little video. I'm just going to show you how to make some histograms with, um, they're basically bar graphs with a range for each bar. And um, let's just begin. Okay. So in this example, it says the Fahrenheit temperature reading on 31 Springs morning in New York City are summarized in the table below. Construct the label, the frequency, histogram of the data while an appropriate scale, a width an appropriate scale. So this is what you want to do. Uh, you're going to take each one of these and it's just like any table to graph. You have an X. Have an X and a Y, right? So, uh, what you're going to do is start with the first one here, which is number of days, one for your Y. See how it says number of days right here? And we're going to go up to one and we're going to make a line. Okay? And on Delta Math, you have to pick at least two, but you can pick three or four or whatever. All right? Now we'll go to the next one and try to stay on the same, the next area here and go up to 16, which is right here. All right. And then we're going to take the, so we got this one, we got this one. Now we're going to do this one here and go to 13. And then on the last one here, we'll go to one. Now, every time, when you do this on Delta Math, every time you do it, you have to label below here. It, this first one was 30 to 39. This next one was 40 to 49. Let's see if I can squeeze them all in here. Let's do it this way. Forty to forty-nine. Then this next one is sixty. Nope, fifty to fifty-nine. And this last one is sixty to sixty-nine. And every time you put the bar on there, you have to <coughs> excuse me, label it. Okay. And if you're making a histogram, you have to have the bars on here obviously and they have to connect the bars have to connect and that's it that's how you make a histogram all right let's take a look at another example okay and if you want to pause the video and Label your graph and see if you can um, make a histogram. All right, this should be what your histogram looks like. Okay, you've got five things of data here, and you have five bar graphs. They use four, and you label each one. But that's it. That is how you make a histogram. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.